William Shakespeare was an English poet, playwright and actor, widely regarded as the greatest writer in the English language and the world greatest dramatist. Shakespeare also spelled Shakespeare by name Board of Avon or Swan of Avon. He was born on April 26, 1564, Stratford upon Avon, Warwickshire, England and died on April 23, 1616, Stratford upon Avon. Shakespeare occupies a position unique in world literature. Other poets such as Homer Dante and novelists such as Leo Tolstoy and Charles Dickens have transcended national barriers. But no writers have a reputation can compare to that of Shakespeare who plays a return in the late 16th and early 17th centuries for a small repertory theatre are now performed and read more often and in more countries than ever before. The prophecy of his great contemporary poet and dramatist Ben Jonson that Shakespeare was not of an age but for all time has been fulfilled. Shakespeare's Shonen. Shakespeare wrote on a variety of themes when discussing or referring to Shakespeare's sonnet. It is almost always a reference to the 154 sonnets that were first published altogether in a quarter in 1609. A Shakespearean sonnet has 14 iambic pentameter lines divided into three quatrains and a couplet. In the three quatrains, the poet establishes a theme or problem and then resolves it in the final two lines called the couplet. Now I am going to read Sonnet 104. To me, fair friend, you never can be old. For us you were when first you, your eye eyed. Such seems your beauty still three winter cold. How from the forest shook three summer's pride, three beauteous spring to yellow autumn turn. In process of these seasons have I seen three April perfumes in three hot Junes burned. Since first I saw you fresh, which yet green. In this sonnet 104, the poet talks about his friend Fair Youth. He expresses his love towards a young man. In the first line, the Shakespeare says, To me, my friend, you could never old, for your beauty seems unchanged from the first time I saw your eyes. He further says, Three cold winters have passed into summer, and three beautiful springs have become autumns. The perfume scents of three April burned up in three hot Junes since first I saw you in your youth prime and you are still as beautiful and young. A. It doth beauty like a dial hand steal from his a figure and no pass received. So you are sweet who which me thinks still doth stand, hath motion, and mine eye may be deceived, for fear of which this thou age and bad. I, you were born, beauty's summer dead. But beautiful moves forward continually like the hands of a clock. In the same way, your beauty which seems unchanged to me, moves forward, deceiving my eyes, out of my fear that you will lose your looks. Hear this, you unborn generations. The greatest beauty was already gone. Thank you.